Guys, good I to see you me. both. How are you? Hey, Jake. Nice to see you. Love Chicago. Nice you. Oh, Chicago loves you. And seriously, congratulations <laughs> on this. I love this movie. I have a thousand questions for you, so I'm going to just jump into it. Go. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you, you hear stories of, of young actors in horror films and the people around them sometimes try to hide from the kid that they're in a scary movie. I think the most famous example was the kid from The Shining. They never told him what kind of movie he was in. Oh. And with these kids, there's no hiding what kind of movie this is. So I'm curious, oh, as no. their co-star, as their director, how do you handle explaining to some of these younger actors just sort of what's happening around them? Well, I'll say very carefully because at 12 and 7, you know, they, they're still babies, right? Mm -hmm. And and they uh, aren't quite sure what's happening at any time because these, these young boys are non-actors. They've never really even been on a film set. So here they are in cramped, dark attics or in a mine, <laughs> They're facing this giant monster. Uh, I had to continually remind them that this was just like a big sandbox and we're all just playing make-believe. And as a, as a parent, I just wanted to comfort them to make sure that everything that they were experiencing was not actually happening. And then when you have a co-star that's, you know, as, as experienced as Carrie and Carrie's a, a mother, she made them feel so comfortable and, and, and I think it helped tremendously. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, the nature of filming, you're doing it in such piecemeal that hopefully not a lot is registering. <laughs> A lot of stuff you know, going, which kind of helps. You're, you're just doing this, like, this one little part, and maybe as a kid you don't quite realize how much it connects <laughs> That's a good to the point, other. You know actually. what I mean? I never thought of you're that. You're just yeah. like, oh, we're in the darkness for this part. Oh, what's yeah. then we're going to eat lunch, and then we're going to, you know, go to. <laughs> yes. I mean, as long as you've got know, lunch, we're good. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, Carrie, there, there are so many great actors who sort of got their big break in horror. You didn't think of Johnny Depp in, in Nightmare and Kevin Bacon in Friday the 13th and Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween. It took you a while to find this genre. I'm sort of curious, is that a, a conscious choice on your part or were you genuinely just not offered parts in horror films earlier in your career? That's Man, I'm, I'm, this is my breakout. I'm trying to break out. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the beginning. This is my breakout film. Come on. This is the beginning for me. So like, what's next? I'm just, I'm, I'm following all those people's footsteps. <laughs> um, I, if, and she's if, great. If, I would say, if it's only uphill from like this in the America, like my God, if, if the Americans is downhill and then we're going what's up. what's next? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, uh, I, I, yeah. I, I'm seriously though, I'm so fascinated with creature design and, and the, the creature mm. design without giving too much away is it's beautiful. It's like a work of art in this movie. For both of you, I'm curious how the look of the monster affects your work. Like Carrie, how did the monster affect your performance? And Scott, how does the look of the monster sort of affect maybe how you're gonna frame a shot? Mm. It absolutely affects your performance. I mean, these days we have to act so often with nothing, right? So many mm. of our films now are completely digital, digitally created CGI. So the, so much we do is CGI. So this was absolutely practical. I mean, Guillermo's whole monster magic world comes in and everything that you saw in the movie is what I got to act with, which is so, oh, oh. It, it's so much more fun because it's you, the size of it, it would even breathe on me. I mean, yes. and it was so cool um, and much more, it, it's very specific to working in Guillermo's world. Yeah, and then practically speaking, uh, I shot on a, a very large format camera for the first time uh, hoping, because we shot this pre-pandemic, that this would, would, would only be shown in, in theaters on the largest screen you could possibly find. And it was really about how do you put a, a young boy with big problems in a big frame and make him feel dwarfed by the size of the frame, make him feel more alone and, and more vulnerable. Because then also you have this Wendigo that's, that's quite large. And how do you put both of those uh, as well as carry in the frame at the same time? So uh, technically speaking, uh, it was a different approach for me, but I, uh, I, I'm thrilled that we were able to provide Carrie with a, a practical creature that, that she could act against as opposed to a green or a blue screen. My inner film geek is just going nuts right now. Like this kind of stuff is very much <laughs> It my was jam. cool. You, you know, Super I, cool. You hear stories about like on Jurassic Park where like all of a sudden the animatronic dinosaurs, like they would sort of malfunction and just start moving like in between takes. I'm sort of curious in between takes, like did the Wendigo, like was there ever anything where you kind of had to like do a double take and sort of look over at it? No, because we actually had someone inside the- They're the, kind the, of like- Yeah, there was, it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, there was an actor in inside, the, uh, inside the, the, the Wendigo that Carrie was acting opposite. Play that part? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You're the next Wendigo. Yes. yes. Yeah. Antlers too. Yeah. 
Antlers too. Yeah. I love it. I, lo I love that, that old James Cameron story where he went to Alien and then put aliens on the chalkboard with a money sign. Like, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do Antlers, but with a little dollar sign uh, at the end. That's really it. Tough okay. competition now. Yeah. Look at this. Go. Guys, yeah. seriously, thank you so much for your time. I geeked out hard with you guys, and I appreciate you uh, uh, letting me do it. So thank you for, for being so kind. I nice appreciate to it. Meet, you yeah. bet, man. Nice thank to meet you, you guys. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. We don't need roads.